Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Ange. And today we're watching Demon Slayer episode 23. We met the Hashida, good and proper last episode, and the Master. Yes. We've had some really great character introductions lately. I know. I feel like things are really stepping up. Yeah. We are coming to the end of season one, so I'm assuming it's setting up season two with the Hashida. Yes. That's my prediction, at least. Makes sense. The Hashida were very intrigued about Tanjiro meeting Muzan. Yes, we forgot to talk about that in the conclusion. Mm. They were. Yeah. They had so many questions. I can't believe none of them have like been in his presence before. No. It's probably a good thing. Well, you know, he's probably very strong. Well, that kind of does show you how interested Muzan is in Tanjiro. He's being very secretive at the same time, but he's actively sending, you know... Like demons out to deal with Tanjiro, it looked like. But Tanjiro's the threaded, and he won't be defeated that easy. That's right. Especially now we know about his fire breathing. Yeah, well, apparently it's not called fire breathing. I'm not entirely sure. Oh. I had a few people say that it wasn't called that. Can't remember exactly. Okay, is there like some subtitle discrepancies? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm just going off some of the comments, but... I'm sure we will see it again soon, so we, we'll have that clarified. I'm hoping in this episode we touch base with Inusuke and Zenitsu again. Yeah. But I think this trial for Nezuko is going to be happening soon. Yeah. I think, actually, you know, when I was watching this, I'm like, oh, this is the trial. Okay. Like, they were just doing it right then and there. Well, I don't know. I, I, I'm pretty sure the Wind Hashida is kind of just doing whatever he wants at this moment. Yeah. Well, they all get to put their say in, but... The master has the final say, obviously. Yeah, that's right. I wonder what Nezuko is going to do right now as well. I'm hoping... We know. I don't know. She she looks like she's struggling, but I think she'll be all right. Of course she's struggling. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm saying I don't know how she's going to react because of how much she is struggling. You know, she's just battled Rui and she needs to sleep. So... Yeah, and the stabbing and whatnot is not helping. No, it's not. So I wonder what's going to happen. I'm hoping that there's a positive outcome here at least. But we just wanted to say a massive thank you to all of our Patreon members. And if you guys are interested in early access and the full-length reactions to all of these episodes, make sure to check out our Patreon down below. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. Harisha, Hashira meeting. <laughs> I don't know what the Harisha is. <laughs> I hope she kicks him in the head. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it won't be good for her case. Kick the wind out of him. <laughs> this dude. Really bringing the mood down. <laughs> Oh, he doesn't no, care. No, no, no. I'm going to try to save her anyway. Okay. Maybe he let her go. So then Tanjiro could speak to her. Oh, another flashback. Yes. Oh. This is the same OST as episode 19. Oh, that beautiful family song of theirs. Yeah. I actually did forget about that hypnotizing that Arukodaki did. Yes. Oh, look at her. It's so hard for her. Yeah. I don't know how many times I've been hypnotized, but I don't know how many times I've been hypnotized. I don't know how many times I've been hypnotized. I know, me too. Nezuko has been hypnotized by people who have been hypnotized. What do you want to do with me? They all treat Gyu like crap. Yeah. I don't want to be hypnotized. I don't want to be hypnotized. Tanjiro and Nezuko are fighting for the fight. 
Or even Nezco will be a demon slayer. So epic. Oh, it's gratitude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, boy. He's got to go find Lower Moon number four. That's his only hope right now. I'm sorry to say. That's small. Oi. <laughs> I think Inosuke is going to get fired. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> She's so mad. She's going to heal him. Okay, I hope so. I love the way they animate the funny scenes. Yeah. <laughs> May please be careful with him. What's he doing? <laughs> He's got a bone to pick with him still. He stabbed his sister. Damn straight. He's asking permission to headbutt him. Who's that? That he remembered. She's... She's making me stressed. Why? She can't, like, choose her favourite. She's just in love with everyone. I'm... She just appreciates a badass moment, you know? Just like us. Stop! What the heck is going on? This is a nice place. This is a nice residential area. Yeah. Shinobu's place. Hmm. Like the butterfly enclosure at the zoo. Kanao. あいしゅう選別の時のことお前ゆべかなお様に踏んづけられたことを忘れてんなすぐこってのは柱が育てる大使だよ相当才能があって優秀じゃないとえあおわおお女の子なのにすげえよなしずあ、ゴーバーシズ
<laughs> to be fair, I didn't notice either. Oh, yeah, he did say he was going to come back. Yeah. Oh. That's nice. Uh, okay, I can't talk properly. Maybe this will serve him well, temporarily anyway. It's making me nauseous. Blow your nose, man. Aww. He feels helpless. Yeah. He doesn't like being pitied. Zenitsu's voice actor has too much fun in the booth, 100%. It's <laughs> like when they were with the old lady at that house, yeah. all healing. Oh, nice. That's good. Epic moment. I was so stressed. Yeah, the blood demon art there. Oh, no. 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 Oh, yeah, the master's a champ. Soothing. I reckon he's got something to do with Muzan. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I don't I was know. Saving it for the outro, though. <laughs> the talk. Yep, let her rest. <laughs> yeah, she needs it. It's got Nietzsche and Otona in there. So stay. Jeechan in that day, she's just there. Oh. Well. Oh, yeah, because she'll keep on living. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, the smooth criminal. So smooth. So he's been around for a while. I'm trying to like memorize yes, them, but there's no chance. That's gonna be a hard one to say. Wow, he holds them so dearly. Oh, I've got a few theories on this dude. Let's go. Yeah, this guy's epic, I have to say. Yeah, I love his hair. Sound, Sound Hashira. Okay, fire Hashira, that makes sense, of course. Yep. Rehabilitation training. Okay, so they're going to be like healing, but then they're going to be getting prepared. The next episode is going to be the rehab training, right? Do you think the Hashira are going to demonstrate some of their moves? Oh, I hope so. I really do. Otherwise, we'll just have to wait for the right moment, you know, when it's natural yeah. in battle. Yeah, that's right. Well, I, I'm kind of thinking, do they need to be able to teach them the breathing that they already know, the breathing techniques that they already know? Like, Giyu, for example, has the same breathing techniques as... Tanjiro, because they both learned under Rukadaki. Mm -hmm. So does it make sense for Giyu to be the one that trains Tanjiro? Except, yeah. But the problem with that is Inusuke, for example, is self-taught, and Zenitsu, I, I, I don't know if anyone here has thunder breathing. Yeah, true. I guess maybe they can just learn things off others. Yeah. 
Well, the fire Hashira can also help Tanjiro. Oh, yeah. Yep, of course. Fire and water. Yeah. His name's Rengoku, it looked like, or Rengoku. Yeah, I wasn't sure whether they go by their first or last names. We're unfortunately going to have to choose whichever one we can pronounce. (laughs) No, I'm just being dead set serious. I'm sure we'll get some help in the comments about the phonetics and everything like that. Yeah. Well, I was drawn to his name because it's got the word Goku in it, the name (laughs) Goku in it, and he's got, you know, Super Saiyan hair. Kind of. Yeah, so I kind of like already like him anyway. He reminds me of like a lion. Yeah. Right? Like yeah, he's yeah. got like the, um, even the eyes, they're sort of like drawn like upwards. Yeah, I think you're right. I want to talk about the master. Me too. I reckon that's Muzan's bro. Brother. I was thinking it too. Yeah, they kind of look similar. Yeah, so and they have the same sort of like calm demeanor about them. Yeah, but if you actually even look closer everyone's probably laughing at us <laughs> yeah <laughs> just let us have the theory right if you look closer <laughs> though his eyes right i reckon his face has been burnt for multiple reasons one because it makes sense with the whole story they're trying to say but also to hide the fact that he had the same eyes as muzan or That's something nice something like that i don't know it's not nice but like it's a good pick i don't know his eyes are kind of like pink nezko's eyes are pink Muzan's eyes are like red, lighter red, but I don't know, maybe because the master got burnt in his face, Mm -hmm. it it looks that way, it lightened his eyes or something, I don't know, I'm trying to make connections. Yeah. Do you have any connections? Uh, Well, not more than they just look similar and like have the same sort of suave calmness about them. Well, the master's been around for a long time though. Yeah. That's what they said, I'm pretty sure. Do you think he's a demon? Would make sense as to why he was so quick to, you know, accept Nezco. Yeah, I know. I I was trying to think before, but I I feel like they would have mentioned something about that. Oh, it's not their place. It's not their place to talk about the master and the history. Or maybe he hasn't. Maybe they don't know. Yeah, maybe they don't know. Maybe he hasn't shared that information. But if he's been around. kept private. Yeah, but if he's been around for that long, then yeah. Mm. So he's got similarities to Nezco. That's why. Yes. It all kind of makes sense now. Maybe Giyu made the connection between his master and Nezko. Maybe that was the connection that allowed for him to let her go. Maybe. So maybe Muzan tried to do something similar to the the master as he did to Nezko. But it like kind of backfired in a way. But Nezko is all right and... So is this dude as well. I don't know. I'm trying to make some links. Yeah. We haven't got enough right now. No, we don't. But we can keep theorizing another Hopef- time. Hopefully that was entertaining for everyone <laughs> because it was probably completely off. You never know. There's some cool similarities or contrasts that can be drawn between the master and Muzan. Yeah. So like, obviously with the master, he has the, the demon slayers, the Hashira, who are his like main followers and Muzan has the 12 Kazuki and you can see the difference in why each of those groups listen to their master. So with the master, we have pure respect and that's been earned with Muzan. It's out of fear. Yeah. They all fear him so deeply that they do whatever he says. Remember the whole Talk about the bonds, the forged bonds and the real bonds. Mm. There's that too. There's that contrast to make. Muzan's got a forged bond with his 12 Kazuki. Whereas there's an actual bond here with the master and his Hashira. Yeah. I don't know, Carly. There's too much similar between them not to somewhat be related. (laughs) Somewhat. Even if it's distant relative. I don't care. I'll take like distant cousin. Correct. I'll take that too. Third or fourth at least. They talk similar too. That's what I'm saying. I'm wondering whether or not Muzan at one stage ever referred to his demons as his children because that would have been like a tell straight away. True. Now, this is probably just all empty, <laughs> empty theories, but I like doing it anyway. It's just, you know, similarities that can be drawn. That's yeah. All. Oh, Inusuke. That's bad. He's he's sad. He can't speak. Mm-hmm. But I reckon what happened on Mount Nagatomo, I I can't remember the name, but on the mountain, 
was a character defining moment for Inosuke. I agree. Don't you think? Yes. Forced him to see that there's stronger villains and, you know, people on his side than he is. Yep. Yep. So he's got to fight smarter now. It's either going to make or break him. No, I think he'll, he'll come good for it. I hope so. Zenitsu. Zenitsu and his snot, man. <laughs> Bloody snot. All the time. It's like, yeah, one thing about kids that makes me nauseous. You know, like, I, I can't deal with that. <laughs> the snot. So... Tanjiro got introduced again to the other butterfly girl. Yeah. Who's been learning under... Shinobu. Shinobu. That, that's what's got me thinking that they're all kind of going to have... Oh, like a little submaster. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Mm. Like another sensei. Yeah. Which I'm thinking Giyu is going to be Tanjiro. So it just makes a lot of sense to me. But did Tanjiro take some interest in her? What do you mean? You know, uh, what was her name? Kanao, Kanao, or something like that. Sorry, I'll have to get the name back up. But the little butterfly girl, one of the other survivors. I didn't pick up on anything. The reason why I picked up on something is because the dude that was carrying Tanjiro kind of said something. He was like, she was only trying to like defeat you or she kicked you in the head just a moment ago, but you seem to be interested in her. I think he was like, this is another one of the survivors. Oh, okay. He I was interested by it. And then he's like, you know, you weren't so interested when she was trying to kick the crap out of you. Uh, see, I read it a little bit different. I read it as like, I mean, Tanjiro didn't blush, but I don't know. I feel like there was purpose in that line that the dude was saying. You think he's got a crush on her? I don't know. Maybe. She was about to kill Nezko. There's no way. I know these shows aren't all about love interests and stuff like that, but Tanjiro doesn't really have one. That's That's why I'm kind of... I'm kind of looking for one, <laughs> okay. you know. I didn't. I didn't pick up on that, but maybe. Uh, he was. He blushed around Tamayo, quite a bit. Tanjiro. He did. Okay. Why am I not picking up on any of this? I don't know. That sort of stuff interests me. I like trying to find some ships among the uh, <laughs> yeah among the crowd there. But I don't know. She seems cute. She's nice. How funny was it when Tanjiro went like bright red, <laughs> came back, and he's like, "Please let me headbutt <laughs> Win Tashira." Yeah. At the start, I thought that was a little bit out of character, like because he's meant like Tanjiro's this respectful guy, <laughs> but you can't be doing that to Nezuko no, and get away with it. Absolutely not. But he was saying it in a fair way, you know. He's yes. like, I won't headbutt him extra, and I won't stab him, even though he stabbed Nezuko. Just let me headbutt him four times. <laughs> four times. I like that. That was a nice touch. How you know they just wanted to make things even. Yeah. Maybe next episode, our. Trio are going to kind of get their masters or something, or their new teachers. That's what I'm hoping for. That'll be great. Yeah. I'd love to see some new dynamics being formed Yeah, with different characters. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.